Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I've got a limited series I want y'all to check out on Netflix. It has audio description. Uh, it's called Inventing Anna. It's got very long episodes. Like, we're talking like an hour plus. Like, hour, 15 minutes, like almost per episode. And it only has nine episodes, but it took me like three or four days to watch this and if you're visually impaired like i said it's got audio description this show had so much going on in just each episode now it's really interesting because it's about a woman named anna she goes by anna delvey but that is not her real name her name is anna sorkin and she was born in Russia, but she was raised in Germany. And she pretty much, basically, the way I took it, is she came to America on, like, a visa. And she's claiming to be, like, a German heir. Like, higher up, you know, her family's got money. She's worth, like, she's supposed to get, like... 60 million dollars when she turns 26 or something like that and she's 25 years old and i have to say the girl is smart she is a very likable person she's persuasive and you know she is in new york and she is trying to live life of the rich and famous and in all reality she's not she I don't know where she was getting money. I don't want to know. But one thing I did like about the show, like every episode with audio description, it will tell you that this story is true, except for the parts that are uh, made up or fake. Or It always says something a little bit different. But I was like, so is this true? Or is this, fic you know, is this not true? But in all reality, this is like something that really happened. And uh, a woman named Vivian wanted to do an interview with her while she's in Rikers Prison. And I've heard that that's a pretty tough prison. But, um, and this girl, Anna, is just a straight up butt. I mean, she calls the woman fat and bless her heart, she's pregnant. So, of course, you know, she's not going to be a toothpick. But, you know, Anna's being mean, and she's like, I'm not going to do an interview. Well, Vivian pretty much says, I can give you what you want. I will make you famous. And, y'all, this woman did. Now, Vivian is not the real name of the actual person that wrote the article on her. But, um, she did it. I mean, everybody knew about Anna Delby. I mean, she conned her way through New York and taking money from, you know, rich people and banks and living off of it, going on vacations. And, I mean, she's got friends and all this. And, I mean, she's taken her friends out to eat to these fancy dinners, took some of her friends to Morocco on vacation. And, you know, there was a whole controversy. I mean, the show is... Pretty much, you know, about Anna Delby, of course. But then her friend, Rachel, that ends up getting, I wouldn't say screwed, but she kind of screwed herself. And uh, she gave the hotel in Morocco her work credit card. She worked for Vanity Fair. And the bill for that trip was like $62,000. And I'm going to tell you what. Me, I don't make money like that, and I would have fell in the floor dead if I would have realized, like, oh my gosh, you know, it would take me six years to make that kind of money, but it's like a big controversy, and, you know, Rachel is trying to get Anna to pay her back, and Anna's giving her the runaround, dodging her calls, and all that, and what it all comes down to is Rachel sets her up to be arrested uh, from a rehab facility. Now, you don't know if Anna really needed the rehab or she was just, like, crashing there because she had nowhere to go. I really don't know what was true and what wasn't true. 
But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff online. Like, with 60 Minutes, there's an actual interview with Anna Delvey and talking about it. And we watched it, and it, it'll it blow your mind just to listen to this woman just so carefree and laughing. And she's going to write a book. And Rachel already wrote a book about her experience. And, I mean, the whole thing is going to take you a while, like I said, because it's very long episodes. But I highly suggest checking this one out. Now, the first episode, it does take you a little bit of time to, like, get into, like, what's going on. Because there is a lot of stuff that will go to the past with Anna and all that. And then it'll jump back to the present. But with audio description, it does make it clear that it jumps back to present day time. But, like, y'all need to check this out. I mean, this show was out there i mean it's called inventing anna like i said it's on netflix um with or without audio description um thank y'all for listening i think i appreciate y'all's support and watching my videos don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel don't be blindsided and we will be back very soon with another video thanks